Today, we're talking about the Global Innovation Challenge. The business school from the University of Stellenbosch in South Africa will be one of the first schools in the IBS Alliance to organize this challenge for the summer 2021. And today I'm talking to Marlies Terblanche smith the full professor of marketing, who will be uh, developing and coordinating, exploring business in South Africa. Welcome, Marlies. Thank you, Carol. Let's just dive into it. Um, what was the inspiration uh, behind this specific online experience you're creating for the participants from all the partner universities? Great. The, the initial inspiration was really from, from, the, the, I, um, from, the, from, from the Alliance to create country-specific courses that's based on our unique situations and our strengths and weaknesses. So if you think about the Alliance and eight schools from five continents, we're the only school in Africa. And being in South Africa, we decided, I decided let's go for exploring business in South Africa. And it was inspired by our specific context as an emerging market in Africa. So the idea of the course is to immerse students into our strategic business landscape with its unique challenges, talking, starting from anything from socioeconomic challenges through to leadership and sustainability. So giving them the opportunity to innovate within the specific industries in the South African context. So it's all inclusive package for all management students, I suppose. Who is the audience for it? Yes, absolutely. Mostly management master students at all our JSC Alliance schools who want to expand their knowledge of emerging markets and who want to gain experience as external consultants on a business challenge in an emerging market. They will be given a specific company that requires innovation and transformational solutions. And so let me let me follow up on the South Africa as being an emerging market. It's probably uh, one of the best examples of uh, developing uh, markets, emerging markets. Um, there is seems to be growing importance uh, of these types of markets for companies. Can you elaborate a bit on that? Absolutely. I get so excited when we to talk about emerging markets. So normally developing countries that qualify as emerging markets have emerging economies like South Africa that are open to international trade and have a growing share in world trade. So emerging markets are really important because governments, our government included, implement policies for rapid economic growth. And I get Talking about the African continent, I always get excited. I see myself as an African and a South African, but Africa is one of the fastest growing and resource rich continents. According to the UN by 2025, and this is like four years down the line, most growth internationally will come from developing countries and more than half of that from Africa. Now, if you just think Africa before you go to South Africa, I mean, we have a a current population on the continent of 1.36 billion people. And in 30 years, that number will double almost to 2.49 billion people. So coming closer to home, South Africa is the third largest country in Africa. And South Africa is normally seen as, as a springboard for businesses, international businesses would, would launch in South Africa and then springboard to other African countries, <clears throat> albeit Sade countries or other countries. So South Africa is a unique mix because we have a small so-called developed businesses and then emerging businesses. And in our unique context, it is an a, amazing place to learn about developing markets and experiencing developing markets and how we do business. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and I suppose the course is still going through some final adjustments. Can you speak a little bit about the concrete examples of companies or industries they're going to be exposed to? We will have basically a, a range of diverse industries located in the Western Cape of South Africa where Stellenbosch University is in Cape Town and, and Stellenbosch is just not a long way from here. And participants will, will engage with, with businesses from various industries. So we will look at emerging startups and more formal businesses and the industries will be looking at this retail. We'll look at finance, wine, obviously, media and fruit and exports. So it really is a mix of a lot of large industries that plays a big role in the economic situation in South Africa, but well as, it, as in the Western mm -hmm. Cape. 
Now, I know this is not your first time organizing these types of experience. I believe your MBA students benefit from this type of uh, engagement from all over the world. So you have quite a bit of experience in this. Um, looking back into 2020 and upcoming 2021, this is going to be an on online experience for some students from partner schools, if not all. Um, in what way is it different? What can they expect that is going to be sort of breaking the usual Zoom interaction that they're used to perhaps by now? Yes, I think we all Zoomed out, Kirill, uh, since last year, but uh, our sessions will, will be, we, uh, the difference from in, in our course specifically is we, we, are the, we are offering two options, face to face, that means in South Africa, and we just yesterday changed to a lower level of um, lockdown being level one, which really means everything is open. Uh, we still have protocols, of course, uh, wearing masks, etc., or online. So, so students can either join us online via Zoom, or they can literally come to South Africa and be here. Now, the students who are here will will um, will go to all the company visits, but we will be taking a camera crew with. So the students on Zoom online will actually be going to all the company visits, to the cultural sessions, to the company briefings, and we'll have a, a blended approach with students who are here and students online will work together as teams. And tell us a little bit about the, the instructor team, the, the speakers who are going to be uh, uh, in this experience during the two weeks. We, we have a great lineup of, of people. I will be, be the, the, the academic coordinator, so I will, they will see my face a lot. I will be everywhere. But we have lined up all our senior academics from different fields, from economics, understanding the socioeconomic and political environment through to leadership, etc. So there'll, there'll be a theoretical academic experience. But then we also have uh, business leaders lined up from the various industries that we are going to and the companies that we're going to, where they will actually do the presentations, brief the, 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 the participants, etc. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one of the reasons to go to South Africa virtually or in person is to experience culture. What does experiencing culture is virtually in this, uh, in this challenge in the upcoming summer? What will it look like? Visiting culture virtually is basically us taking a video crew with like we would do company visits. So if we have an online cooking class, you will also be there. So we will expect the people online to sit in the kitchen and cook with us. When we do a braai, we will tell you how to do it on your side and we will have the camera crew there showing you how we do it, how we planning around similarly with wine tasting. Unfortunately, we can't let the online people taste the wine and food, but they will definitely join in in the experience. Similarly, when we go to Cape Town, uh, we'll have a crew around to show them where we are and what we are doing. So they will definitely be involved in the experience, even though it's an online experience. It's almost like a, a live show where there are participants, active participants. Yes, yes. And so you'll give them ahead of time all the ingredients that they need to buy to have those experiences? Absolutely. We will send everything they need to join us. I don't know how they will use a braai, but we will figure something out. Okay, that's fantastic. Awesome. Thank you, Marlies. It was very informative and inspiring for me. Um, before we conclude the interview, I'm asking uh, all of my uh, uh, co-coordinators and coordinators, if you could choose three adjectives to describe this experience, what would that be? What would they be? That's very easy. The first one is diverse, different, and Ubuntu. Now, maybe I must explain Ubuntu is a, is a Zulu word, uh, one of our um, official languages, 11 official languages. And it means I am because you are, which ultimately means I cannot operate on my own or work on my own, but work as a team. And that is part of this experience is teamwork. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Carol.